I'm making here. So I get a lot of questions about thyroid because I mention it every single video, and I'm like, oh, increase your T levels. I mean, your thyroid levels. Don't lower them too much. And obviously, as you would expect, I get a lot of questions on what is your thyroid. Now, for that one, I'm not gonna get mad at you guys because I, I don't think I made a lot of videos of it in the past. I do mention it in every single video and in the comment section, but I'm not too sure if I went into details about it in the past. I may have, so you get off the hook with that. But anyway, so pretty much your thyroid, when I say thyroid, I'm referring to T3, right? So this is obviously the hormone that speeds up your metabolism. Long story short, right? It's the hormone, when, I say, when you say somebody has a fast metabolism, nine out of 10, he has very, very high T3 levels. Now, you gotta understand guys, thyroid is probably the second most important hormone after leptin, right, in terms of metabolism. It's, if your thyroid levels are high, how, how does your body make thyroid, right? Obviously, everything starts in the brain, right? Hypothalamus goes to the pituitary gland, pituitary, blah, blah, blah. Same, same pattern, just like testosterone and everything else, right? Hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and your thyroid is located, you know, down here. So when it releases, it, it, it doesn't release T3, it releases T4, right? So it has four, I'm not going to go into chemistry behind it. Pretty much, it's T4, it has to be converted to T3 by losing the iodine, right? Because when I go into the details, the video becomes too long. So when T4, and T4, as long as it's in T4, it's not very fucking active. It's kind of like testosterone, you know, it's bound to like albumin. It has to become free testosterone before, you know, you, you get the effects. T4 has to become converted to T3 in order for it to get, you know, to uh, to have its effect. And again, that can't happen when you stress that. It can't happen when your carbs are too low. That can't happen when your cortisol is too high. You know, in fact, when your cortisol is too high, it becomes reverse T3, which, which does the opposite. Um... So, you know, so when I'm always like, oh, increase your carbs or, you know, lower your stress or, you know, increase your thyroid, that's what I'm referring to is the conversion of T4 to T3, you know, because you could have high T4 levels and high t and low T3 levels. T3 is, where, is really where it fucking matters. And uh, pretty much how it works is it speeds up your metabolism, right? Every single cell of your body has like T3 receptors. And how does it do it? Again, it increases transcription, right? I made videos about transcription. You guys know. Protein synthesis is in, is pretty much, you know, in two steps. You have transcription and you have translation. Transcription is when your body goes to the DNA, reads the genetic code, right, and then has to copy that before it's translated. That's called transcription, right? So it goes to the DNA, it goes, oh, right, you know, this is the sequence of amino acids I have to put together in order to create blah, 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 right? It copies that, called mRNA, that leaves the nucleus, goes into the cytoplasm, and now your body takes the amino acids that you eat, and starts to put them together based on the code, based on the instructions that it read of the DNA, right? And now translation begins. That's where mTOR comes in and your body starts to put the amino acids together. Like, so you know, you have new proteins, right? Muscle, tissue, hair, whatever. T3 increases the transcription part. So it increases your body's ability to read the genetic code and copy it. When your metabolism is too low or when your T3 levels are low, due to cutting your calories too low or not eating enough carbs or, you know, being too stressed, you're inhibiting that process. That's why your metabolism kind of slows down because there's less transcription, so there's less translation, meaning there's less production of new tissues. Does that make sense? So very, very, very important at the at the molecular level, at the DNA level, that your T3 levels are optimized. And so I always tell people, hey, man, you got problems? And you ask me for advice, first thing I'm always going to ask you is how are your hormone levels? I'm not going to tell you, oh, you know, just go ahead and do this general advice. You know, if you have hypothyroidism or you have insulin resistance or leptin resistance or chronically low, you know, uh, you know, we have to fix that first before we try to, you know, I always compare that to the guy that has the headache because he didn't eat for a week and goes to the doctor and is like, hey, I need help. And the doctor gives him Tylenol. What is that going to fucking do? That's going to fix the symptom but not the, you know, the cause. So you have to get to the root. Understand how thyroid works and make sure that it's optimized. All right. Hope this video helps. I hope that answers the the majority of the questions on what the hell is you know thyroid and why it's so important and you know and things like that. I'm not gonna go into the details. If you want, comment below. But that should do the trick for now. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So again and again, how to increase your thyroid? I mentioned this several times. Eat enough food. You know, uh, get enough carbs in your diet. All right. Comment your question below. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you fuck with Team 3D. I'm out of here. Thank <laughs> you.